Hello, today we are at RF Hendon. I hope you enjoy the video. Got a hanger worn. Haven't been here since 2020. There's all different hats in the Royal Air Force. The meaning of these is like, it's not just pilots. Like, of course there is pilot stuff. There's lot, lots more. It's just a whole year hanger one. These are all different bombs and missiles. More older bombs here. The most recognisable aircraft in the RS history, the Supermarine Spitfire. Suspended from the ceiling here, there is a Lockheed Martin F-35 in RAF markings, but it also has at the front all the countries that took part in it. The best view of the Sea King and its child. Showing the Marine branch of the Royal Air Force, which I don't know if they still have. And there's some more bombs and missiles here. It's the Red Arrow's 60th anniversary this year, so I thought it'd be fitting to add this Red Arrow's Nat in, who is going to be in anyway, but this has made it more fitting. This is a very iconic helicopter in the RAF's history. It's the Western Sea King. As you can see, it's in its very famous yellow paint. It's very nice. If you're wondering, this is what the interior looks like. Going a bit more around. Here's another view of the Sunderland. So, we're going to talk about the Sunderland. How tight it is going. As you know, I'm quite tall. I have said that lots of times. Okay, so I've been on a Sarangum, which is like the civilian version. This is the military version, the Sunderland. Very big flying boat, used in the Second World War. Look out the windows. Here's the bomb bay. You see the massive wings out there. Good shot. Cafe. Can't go up there. The bathroom. That's where the pilot is. You can see depth charges have been cranked out the carriers as they would have been on the 9th of November. Average time for patrol, my father spent on the sun, eight hours. I'm a bit too tall for this bit. Over 13 hours. I hope you enjoyed. Here's the outside of this massive aircraft. It takes up half the hangar. I keep nearly saying halls, but it's the hangar. Absolutely massive. Here's some of the Royal Air Force's ex boats. It's quite gloomy out here. It's going to be getting to about 20 later, so that's going to be nice. Looks like you used to go up there. So we're in Hangar 2, which is all World War 1. I. I don't know much about World War 1, so I'll probably get a few aircraft wrong. I haven't got a clue what this is. This is a Albatross. It's a German. Model T with Bristol F2B, Model T and an S. Though that is my favourite, which is the Sopwith Camel, one of the most famous. Crosby Light Tender. This is called Life in Forces. What you'd say in the pure in the area in the 1910s. Weight hanger from the sock with because it's so nose heavy. SC5. This is a sock with triplane. 
It's made by Sopwith, and as you can see, it's a triplane. Some of the earliest bombers and fighters. This one we can see up here. So it's the last bit in the main hall of Hangar 1, no, 2. As you can see down there, it says lift here, is where they would take it back into the hangar. And it's got a really interesting bit that looks really simple. So you see this wooden bit? Just to stop it when it's landing, putting the propeller on the floor. This is the Avro Rotor Auto Gyro from Wakefield. First of all, go stop with tonight. This is the Bristol Bulldog. What the new FX range has this Hawker Heart Mark II. As you can see, it has a back tail gun. This is the Supermarine Southampton. Supermarine was based in Southampton. We're going up the Southampton. It'd be cool if they had. One of these at Solent Sky because that is in Southampton. Better view of the Southampton. This is a Westland Wallace Mark II fuselage. And this is a Thompson refueler. We have the Hawk Typhoon. As you can see, it has D Day markings. It is also the 80th anniversary of D Day this year. I'm going to an air show for that. Little tease of fair show days, so lucky you. Here's a Spitfire. You can sit in this, but I don't book it. It's a clipped wing version, as you can see. And glider and air cadet markings. Here we have E6. Here we have the Oster. Mark 1. Historic Army aircraft flight trying to get. Fixed. This is the Bristol Bowfighter, very famous aircraft, says uh, it's an anti-shipping strike fighter, it's got D-Day markings as I said, 80th anniversary of D-Day this year. This is a Bristol Beaufort torpedo bomber. Mm, so it's a simulated ride with the Typhoon on the Typhoon, so it's probably a five minute ride. So please, so there's a handlebar in front of you, so please hold on to that at all times when doing the ride. And there's a red button on top of you, that's the emergency button, so don't press that. So only press that if you need an attitude, so we will not hold on to this hydraulic right okay. here. Any questions? No. No, no questions. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Ready? Simulator. Please keep your arms away from the doors and remain seated at all times. For your security, there are safety rails in front of you and an emergency stop button above your head. Hold on tight, you're in for a truly moving experience.
Thank you for riding with us today. Please remain in your seat until the door is fully open. Rockstar 2 on flight, shutting the helicopter section now. This is the Western Gazelle, the only helicopters that served with all three of the services. That is the RAF, the Royal Navy and the British Army. This is Sikorsky Hoverfly. This is the Bristol Sycamore Rescue Helicopter. We have one of these at Middle Wallop, but it's not in this livery, it's an Army Air Corps livery. This is the RF West U Westland Whirlwind, or as I like to call it, the Happy Helicopter. Just look at that smile. This is the Westland Beverly. It's got the same sort of design as the Trinet, as it said, Twin Rotor. This is what I'd say is the most popular helicopter here. This is a Royal Flight Wessex. As you can see, it's in a very bright red. Here's a ex Royal Air Force to have in Chipmunk. This is the P 47 Thunderbolt. This is the Kitty Hawk. The shark mouth. This is the fighter four. It includes the Falco, made by Fiat, which is famous for cars. Schmidt BF109, very famous World War II aircraft. This is probably one of the most famous World War II aircraft. This is the Spitfire Mark I. Very simple design, very nice wings. Another very famous aircraft. The Hawk Hurricane in Battle of Britain colour schemes. This here is quite a modern fighter jet, Tornado, which only left Royal Air Force service in 2019. As you can see, they've this bit here to stop you getting poked. This is a 43 Squadron aircraft. Here we have the F4 Phantom. Danger. So you can see there, it's got some weapons on it. You can see the the wing does fold up because it is originally a naval fighter. Going up the F4, gonna take you inside the cockpit. Well, not really inside. as close as we can get. Here's the de Havilland Vampire F3. Wheels deflated. Has the twin boom design. Cockpit is slightly open. I don't know why there's an N. If you know, you can tell me please. Here we have a trainee aircraft. This is the British Aircraft Corporation Jet Provost. It's very similar to the Strike Master. This is the camera. We went from London to New Zealand. As you can see, quite a big plane. If on Twitter, like me, follow RF Newton, everything on there is photographed from a camera, allegedly. This is another very famous aircraft of the Jet Age, the Lightning, also British Aircraft Corporation. This is the reason the RAF's F-35s aren't called the Lightning II because apparently we have the P-38 and this. So, that's why. Better view of the Lightning, the whole thing. Here is the Hawker Hunter, another very famous jet age aircraft. Love the air brake. Here is a very early fighter jet, Gloucester Meteor F8. Can't really walk you around it, so I would show you, but I can't. It's quite a big World War II attack aircraft, but it's not in World War II scheme. It's in a Cold War scheme because 
the RAF kept them into the Second World War. RAF ambulance and fire engine. This is probably the biggest aircraft the museum has to offer here. It's the Avro Lancaster. Maybe not. Okay. This is the centerpiece of the Bomber Command exhibit here at RAF Hendon. You can see the old turret up there. This is one of the only Lancasters to do over 100 missions. It is beautiful. We will be seeing the Lancaster in air show days. Not going to say what the episodes are yet though. Bomb the bouncing bomb. Some big bombs. This is the ferry battle. Yeah. What they used. Never even knew about this one. Here is the Boeing E17 Flying Fortress. There's only one still flying in Europe, and that is Sally B, based at IWM Duxford. Still working on editing that video. This is the Hankel HE 162, one of the earliest jets from World War II. Had one at Duxford, well, parts of it, because it's been restored. Another one of the legendary fighters from World War II, P 51. Very nice nose out of Donald Duck, but it's not on this side. I think we can all agree this is a beautiful and legendary aircraft. Got another Royal Air Force ambulance here. This is an Austin K2. So a reconnaissance plane from World War II. It's the Western Lysander. You might know Westland for helicopters, but they did a few planes. This is a beauty. I think there's a lot to flying still. This is a Mesh Mick Comet, rocket powered aircraft. It's quite famous. Oh, it's famous as the ME262. But still quite famous, one of the first rocket powered aircraft. Nice if they had a full one, but they only have the cockpit of the Victor and it's been refuelled. Looks like SAS Pink. Favourite. The Avro Vulcan. It's very big here. One of the most famous is the V Bombers. Last one retired in 2015. I miss it. Lots of bombs down here, an RF car. You can go under this magnificent aircraft and look at the bomb bay. It's probably in the top three biggest aircraft here. Just gonna take you over to this bomb first. Got an RF bomb disposal car. in the landing gear. And mind your head, the Bombay. There's another G of the bomb disposal. One of the only bombs I know the name of, Blue Steel. And a big yellow truck. Here's a de Havilland Mosquito. 
It's not the best angle, you know, just hope that it is. I'll try my best. Lots of radio aerials in the BF-110. This is showing that not all aircraft come home. This only page Halifax was in number 35 squadron. And unfortunately, it didn't come home after a mission. You can see the RF round all. Towing vehicle here. Train. This vehicle is called the Queen Mary. And it has an Avalanche on it. Here's the Hankong bomber. I can't remember what Hankel it is. It's HE 111. Here's a very famous aircraft, the Junkers JU 87 Stuka. The airspeed Oxford. Don't know why it's got orange up there. Just there. I'm going to read the whole thing. It's a rocket powered kamikaze jet. of the most famous aircraft. What's the theater in the Pacific? Has a KI-100. The Consolidated B-24 Liberator, presented by the Indian Air Force to the RF Museum. What nice nose are. Indian an aircraft I get quite locally, CH-47 Chinook. RF Randall. Apparently the display team's disbanded. We're going inside the Chinook. Can't do this at Cosford, as you see it's quite padded. Got a nice bubble window. See the seal party. Craft that left area service not that long ago. See one party. Otherwise known as the Hercules. They just have the cockpit. But at Cosford, they have the whole thing. Door. Can't go in the back of the C-130. Here so we have the Harrier. The prospect is down. Seems it's hovering. Here's the Harrier. Can I hear you. It's this side. It's a good side. 1960 North Trade The Harrier is probably one of my favourite aircraft ever. Unfortunately, I never got to see it in RAF for fleet air on hands as it retired in 2010. That's my favourite part of the Buccaneers, the air brake. It's in a nice desert pink. The wings are folded. It's got some paint on Going up now, refuelling probe. Got the cockpit. Oh. The cockpit. Some okay, marker to it. Top five view of the Buccaneer. United States Air Force Predator drone. 
see the gear there, it's very compact. Here's an early camo Canadian tornado with the wings swept. Six one sc seven squadron. See the the Dumbusters logo. Just thought I'll get another view of it. One of my favourite aircraft of the Cold War. This is the Septicat Jaguar. In a nice Cold War grey and green camouflage. It goes nicely with the Tornado. Here's another view of the Septicat Jag Jaguar. I love the paint scheme. There's some more modern bombs. Got a decent view of the Typhoon here. One of the RAF's current defenders of our island is the Eurofighter Typhoon. As you can see, it's in a prototype scheme. Most of them are grey. I hope you enjoyed this video. My favourite aircraft was definitely the Lancaster, followed by the Typhoon behind me. I hope you enjoyed it. My favourite hangar was definitely the one behind me, Hangar 6, as it has all the modern fighter jets in it. I'd recommend this. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.